hello guys uh, welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can remove the dot html or dot php extension from your website file right so let's say for instance if i was to crawl scroll down here on this website and then just click on here right on this you will see here at the url you have the dot php file extension this is the uh, php website right so and now let's say for instance and then if it was an html you have a dot html instead of just having the atosha with no dot php or dot html right so that's what i'm going to show you how to remove the dot php or dot html in this tutorial but right, before you get started i just want to ask like if this is your first time please do consider subscribing and i hit that notification bell so you get notified every time you upload a new tutorial so with that being said let's get started right so now the first thing that i want us to do is just come to your our text editor which i use our vlc our visual code right um so now the first thing that i want us to do here is just firstly create a dot hd access page right create a file and just name it dot hd access right and then in that file once you create it i want you to if it's a php website paste this link and then if it's an, an html file or an html website paste this link so this line of codes i will leave them in the description of this video so just go to the description and copy for a php website copy this line of codes and then paste it on your dot hd access file and then for an html website copy this line of code and then just I paste it in your hd access file that you create and like i said all these line of course will be in this video description so just go to the description of this video and then copy the code. now once you're done with that and then you save now i want you to go to your website files on your text editor let's say right now we were looking at um, at the footer right we are looking at the footer that's where we have these uh links right so now i just want to open up my footer in my file and my visual code and then now what you have to do is remove the dot remove the dot php from your website and then if it's an html website remove the dot html from your links so i'm just going to remove that and then just leave it with the file name right remove the dot php or the dot html from your file or from your links remove that then i'm just going to remove this as well then go through your whole website and then just remove the dot php or the dot html extension from your files or from your link so i'm just going to remove all that and then now once you're done save so go through your whole website i'm not going to go through my whole website i'll do that later but this for the sake of that tutorial I want to keep it as short so i'm just going to remove this from my footer and then i will show you that it's working all right so now once you are done removing the dot php or the dot html from your files and then you created your dot access file you paste this line of code for your html paste this and then from your uh for your php paste that then the only thing that's left to do now come back open your um your web hosting where you are hosting your file so to upload that you have to upload this file back online right for me i use filezilla to upload my website files online and then if you don't know what filezilla is this is just a free software that you use to upload your website uh, file online now if you want to know more about this i did a video on this where i show you how to do it where to download it and then how we give you a quick introduction on how to use it so the link to that video will also be in the description so for now i have this so now just opening it up now i'm just going to uh, access my account or my hosting right think that and then that will uh, uh along me into my account right um here yeah, this again this this is my webs i mean my computer and then this is my server as you can see a remote site right so this is my server and then your hosting and if you are looking for where to host your website or you're trying to find a cheaper alternative for you to host your website i'll have a link in the description also for where i'm hosting my website and they offer they did offer cheap uh alternative for and then uh, hopefully you can just create your account there but for now now that i'm logged into my uh server all you have to do is just find your website i'm just going to find my files on my computer again this is the server i mean my computer site so i'm just going to go through 
and then find putty so now what you have to do is create this file the page dot access file and then the footer as you can see the footer that's where we were editing right this is where we remove the dosh um the dot php extension right so now i have to upload those back to my um to my server so click on that and then you have to um access them or put them in the upload them in the root folder where you are keeping your website file so i'm keeping mine in here so now this is where i have to upload them i have to upload them into this where this is all my uh, website file as you can see so now that's where i have to upload this root in my root drive right so i'm just going to click on that as you can see this is hd access and then my footer right so now click on that and then i'm just going to drop them down in my root drive right so now once you do that if you have already filed with the same name they will overwrite it right so i'm just want to overwrite and then now it's done uploading as you can see that right so now what you have to do is just go back to your website so let me just open a new tab and then close this one off so now go back to www.putsi to that website right and then just click on that visit the website and then once you're done this is the website so i'm going to the footer since that's where i change i remove the dot php to show you so now click on that and then as you can see my url doesn't have a dot php anymore just have a tosha right as you can see that and then just to try try one more so as use belay and then as you can see it doesn't have a dot php anymore or my ring doesn't have that dot html it should be working right so that's how you remove a dot html or a dot php extension from your url right so yeah all you have to do is just it's simple just create a dot access file copy this line of code which will be in the description and then go back to your website files or your files or your links in the link remove the dot html or a dot axe or a dot php extension remove them from all your files or your links and then upload your files the, the dot access upload it to your uh, root drive or to your hosting account where you are keeping all your website files online and then that should be it so yeah that's just how you do it it's really simple so yeah i hope you find this video helpful if you did make sure i give it a thumbs up before you go leave us a comment down below now if this was your first time please do consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time you upload a new tutorial so with that being said that's it for this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace love and unity